Hello and good Thursday, February 4th, 2010. I'm Molly, this is Rocket Boom, and today I'd like to wish you all a very happy Create a Vacuum Day. Okay, so this day doesn't technically rely on factual information or public records, but since when has a lack of reason stopped me from celebrating something fun? The word vacuum originates from Latin, where it literally means an empty space. Generally, this is used to describe a space devoid of any gaseous matter, but most believe there is no truly empty space. At least subatomic particle waves of some form are probably going to be present, especially in outer space. Seeing as we can't quite make it into a pure vacuum ourselves today, I'll be commemorating this national time with an experiment favoured by everyone, from Blue Ribbon Science Fair winners to baking soda and vinegar volcano appreciation societies. It's almost impossible to create a true environment that is void of matter, but this experiment demonstrates the effects of a vacuum, and luckily, it involves materials and apparatus that you can find in most any domestic kitchen. You will need one boiled egg, peeled. One bottle with a long, narrow neck. Three matches. One, two, three. Set the bottle on a flat surface. The opening should be small enough to keep the egg from falling inside. Light and drop three matches into the bottle at the same time. Remember, safety first. If you're the kind of person who is subject to accidents. Oh, I don't have an adult, I don't have an adult, I don't have an adult. <laughs> Ask someone you trust operating a fire extinguisher to be around when you do this. After you drop the matches, immediately place the egg over the mouth of the bottle and watch. WTF, right? The lit matches heat the air inside the bottle, causing the speed at which the air molecules move in to increase, and they are forced further apart from each other. This is known as expansion and causes an increase in pressure. As the size of the body of air increases beyond the limits of the container, some of the air escapes from the bottle. The matches go out and the air inside cools and contracts, creating a lower pressure inside the bottle than outside of it, and a partial vacuum. The pressure outside forces the egg into the bottle to fill the void. To remove the egg from the bottle, all you have to do is increase the air pressure inside the bottle by blowing into it. And there you have it, an imperfect vacuum for our imperfect world, the way it was meant to be on National Creative Vacuum Day.